guys welcome back to my channel if you guys clicked on this video because you guys want to see another what I eat in a day because you guys liked the other one so much I figured hey let's do it again if we can get this video to 50 likes then I'll keep doing it um, with that being said though um, before we get into this I'm gonna do it a little bit differently because the last time I did the how to track it on the side but I feel like it took away from like the clips of the food even though I'm not that good at doing food so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the food and then I'm gonna show you guys how I track it at the end um, Just because I feel like you guys can track it on your own like macro wise and stuff if you guys want to try these recipes um, A lot of these are higher in carb today and higher in fat The protein isn't crazy in this, but it's still not bad This is what I eat obviously and then this was prepping for leg day the next day because I usually carve up a little bit more before leg day so with that being said, let's get into the video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials. Um, if you guys are looking to lose weight, you guys can buy my e-course. First 100 people get 25% off. And it also gives you two months free of premium Fit Genie. So if you guys are looking to try this app and have premium, then with the e-course, you get two months of that for free. So with that being said, let's jump into the rest of this video. I'm gonna recap how to track it at the end. And if you guys wanna get the app, also I'll have it linked down below, cause that's what I track with. I switched from using my fitness pal to using Fit Genie and I love it a thousand times more because two things, when I'm in the mood to like do something different than what I normally eat, they have recipes and it gives you really good ideas and they're real, like they're actual recipes that I actually will eat off of. And then the other thing is they give you like nutrition goals so like if you're someone that doesn't understand macros or calories and you don't know how to like taper it down to lose weight that app helps you with all of that fit genie is literally my favorite um so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoy let's jump into this video and um you know if you watch till the end you'll see how to track all right guys so this is what i eat for breakfast i mean usually i either go between like oatmeal over medium eggs or an omelet so in this omelet i have spinach olives bacon tomatoes and then i have one strip of bacon because it is pretty high in fat but like i still like it and then strawberries which is the main source of carbs so and then i have water but that's what i eat for breakfast i'm gonna input it into fit genie and then um I can show you guys how to do that as well. But that's what I'm eating. This is about 500 calories because there is a lot of sugar in the strawberries, but like it's it's strawberries, you know? It's not like a cookie or anything like that. My dad and I are currently going to do more errands, but I wanted to show you, this is the tea. I ordered a Starbucks green tea earlier and like I didn't show you guys it, but I only drank about like maybe a third of it. Um, I'm gonna continue drinking it throughout the day and I'll show you guys that later so you can see like what I exactly order. But with that being said, um, this is the Sunrider Cali Mint tea, right? Cali Mint and Fortune, Lemon Fortune Delight. Okay, so it's two teas mm -hmm. mixed. Um, and then I have stevia to sweeten it. So if you guys are wondering, this is the tea that like I love. So I'll probably link that down below or like, I don't know what I'll do so you guys can access that tea. But like, that's one of my favorites. My dad and I have had this like literally since I was born, right daddy? Yep. And I've kind of just grown up with this tea and it's really good, it's zero calories. And then there's the stevia in it. So yeah, with that being said though, we're gonna go do some more errands and then we're gonna have lunch and then I'll chat with you. Okay guys, so this is my lunch. My lunch is two turkey burgers, um, a slice of cheese, two pickles, a slice of tomato, and then some lettuce. And then I also have the ketchup, and that's literally a low carb option. So if you guys are looking for a low carb option, always go bunless. This is what I'm eating. I'm gonna have a few cups. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have like four glasses of water right now. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm having right now. Cheers guys, uh, my shake's done. I'm obviously gonna drink it now. I use banana caramel flavoring and then chocolate protein. So it has a nutritional aspect in it too. Mmm, so good. So I started eating this, but this is a half chicken Caesar from a place called Sauce. I'm eating with Cami right now. I ordered a pizza and I'm gonna do portion control because the big thing is like, you always eat your greens first. This is what I do to keep me full. Thank you. And then um, you always eat your greens first to keep you full. And then like you have the actual entree or like whatever else after because then you're filling yourself up with volume. And then you ask for half dressing like I did as well. And then you always drink water. So 
This is uh, what I'm having. Kami says the sunset's really pretty, but I think she's prettier. Look at her, she's so cute. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this salad. And they gave us bread just now, so yeah. So I ate half of it, but I wanna explain to you guys how portion controlling works. Because when I was younger, I could literally eat an entire pizza and like a side salad and everything like that and like still be hungry. But this is what portion controlling looks like. Sometimes you can even have like just two pieces of pizza, but personally for me, I had four like little slices and then that is equivalent to half. Kimmy's eating her cheese pizza. So yeah, I just wanna show you guys that. All right guys, so now talking about tracking. So if you wanna track and if you are, you know, you've never done it, first things first, when you get onto the Fit Genie app, it goes to the log area and we're just gonna talk for a second about like a few different things that I really like about this app. So you do a weekly update and it tells you when it's ready. I usually eat like my full amount of calories but sometimes like things change or you know, I eat fruit and I know for a fact I don't track it all, all of it but like I would highly recommend that you track it all. So personally for me, um, on Saturday, I plan on eating bananas, instant oatmeal, um, and then for lunch, what I want to do is actually for lunch, I'm going to go to the recipes and I'll add it in myself. Sorry, there's notifications on my phone. And I want to do, so you click, like, the, they have different hashtags and there's so much type of food like there's so much food that you can do option wise and then you can also look up like high protein or like you know you can search a lot of stuff and like these bell pepper pizza bagels those sound like a good idea you can always like get ideas from this i like broccoli and pasta and then you'd like put chicken in it if you want Ooh, open face chicken caesar sandwich mmm it's been a short lini alfredo that sounds so good and it's really easy they have like different things. It says it has eight grams protein, 14 carb, and 11 fat, which is not that bad. And then you just like, you know, get what's on the list. So you hit add meal. So I'm gonna have that for lunch on Saturday because I have time to cook myself. So you can go through all of the recipes and do that yourself. Or one thing that I also like to do is just like do the same thing over and over again. Don't ever be afraid to repeat meals. Um, and when you're tracking your food and everything, if you're eating out, always, push the like serving a little bit higher because at the end of the day they probably added more oil than what's in the tracker and stuff like that so if i were you always bump it up you know ask them to water down the dressing or water it down yourself if you're making it yourself and just at the end of the day keep in mind your goals when you're tracking don't ever obsess over the number but i know sometimes it's really hard um and then also don't like cut excuses for yourself i know so many people who are like well like i can't control it because like i'm going out with my friends like i'm sorry but you can. I went through high school trying to lose weight and I succeeded because I stopped cutting myself excuses and I stopped saying like I'm too tired because guess what at the end of the day like if you really want it you're not going to cut yourself excuses. So that's just a little bit of word of advice from me. My hair looks so cute right now and we're going to stop this but that's how you track. You just add it and you can scan barcode. You can do whatever um, but I wanted to show you guys that because I feel like it's important to understand like how tracking works but uh, if you guys want to see a whole video all about tracking let me know in the comments down below and I'm totally down to do that. Um, so with that being said let's get this video to 50 likes so I can do another one and I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm actually going to to bed because I'm really tired and I had a good day and I ate lots of food and I saw Cammy today so that was fun but um if you guys want to use Fit Genie don't forget to download it I have a link down below for you guys and um don't forget to be consistent with tracking too because if you fall off track track it and understand like what you're eating like so you can see how your weight fluctuates when you're eating poorly um with that being said though I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video <sighs> bye babe